Hello, everyone. Hello. How you doing? You doing good? I'm sorry for the five minute delay. Um, I was trying to. <laughs> for real, for real. Do you want the? Do you want the? Do you want? The, if we keep being in a hundred, I was brushing my teeth and there was something stuck in my teeth and I couldn't get it out. Um, which caused a five minute delay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um. Anyway. Hello! Your voice sounds off. It's because I've been sneezing non-stop and blowing my nose non-stop because hay fever allergy sucks balls! But I hope it'll be okay. Whoa! Whoa! Well, the game's starting! Wait, I was literally this um the game stream screen a screen like resets itself and I wanna read it on screen. Anyway, we're playing Valhalla today. A city that shouldn't exist attacks. Haven, where corporations and criminal empires reign supreme. Oh my god, we're getting backstory. We're doing backstory! All human life has been infected by nanomachines to keep them in check. I missed the last bit. Oh my god. Oh! It's the girl on the cover. Brutality in its forms is an everyday reality. The quality of life for the non pa I missed it. What? They devote them to their jobs. Some look for ways to escape this place and others just give up. No! give up. For many of them, the answer lies at the bottom of a glass. <gasps> Drown your sorrows in drinks. Don't do that. Be responsible. <gasps> the hell is the name of the bar? <gasps> Hall A of the BDC certified bar. It's a mouthful, so we just call it Valhalla. <gasps> Narahodo! Small oasis in the middle of a concrete desert. A fountain of spirits waiting for tired souls. <gasps> Bruh. Now do ho do, and this is where this story unfolds. <gasps> yeah. So today we're playing Cyberpunk, a uh, bartender action. I've heard a lot of good things about this game, and um, I'm gonna be completely real. I, <laughs> for some reason, I read bartender as barista. So in my head, I kept thinking this was a game where you just make coffee, but I think I'm getting that mixed up with like. Two other games. <laughs> so we're making alka we're, we're making alki drinks today. So um, yeah, is the game audio okay? Double check. Yeah, I think because I know there's a game Coffee Talk, um, that I've been thinking of playing maybe, but I don't know if the story is as good as this one. But I don't know why I kept thinking barista is bartend. Like I kept reading it as barista, even though it says bartender. So I was like, what the heck, bruh. <laughs> Audio good? Okay, good. Okay, I'm ready to get started. I've been so excited. This was the game that I wanted to play last week, but uh, I didn't know if we, if I could, what were the like, permissions wise. Um, and now <laughs> I want to. Uh, we finally did it. We finally did it. I, I, I wanted to play this last week, but we're here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay, Bay Tender here. New game. Thank you for playing. Um, Valhalla. This game is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks. <gasps> I have snacks! I also have drink. So sit back, relax, and we hope you have a good time. Aw, oh, thanks, game! Do you guys have a drink? Do you guys have a snack? Are we ready? <laughs> We're ready. Uh, what snack do you have? I have some... I have some... <gasps> what is this? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I gotta move myself, I just realized. Because you can't see the text. Where shall I put myself? Here? Put myself on this side, maybe. I'll be tiny... Tiny Bayrista. Right here. Right here. Oh, wait, no. Down here? Okay. Psst, psst. <gasps> Who's Anna? Hey, over here. Go! <gasps> Is that... Oh, no signal. Oh, how's that for an entrance? Hi, Anna. Are you about to be my best best friend? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. Why are you glitching? It's kind of scary. Joe. Is my name Joe? She cute. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. And I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a little bit too overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. Look at the brighter side of 
lot of things, guys. Always look on the bright side of life. I have no idea what the brightest side is. <laughs> but you should totally find it. That's true. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. Okay. See ya! Oh, that was quick. Who's Jill? <gasps> oh. <sighs> just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Oh, is that me? Am I Jill? Oh, my name is Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of... Is a pail of water? A bucket of water? Your membership to Shiny Fingered will automatically renew... What's Shiny Fingered? Um, on the 17th! Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Make sure to save your data using the Life Backup app. Then you... You can browse the augmented eye. What? Welcome, Jill! <gasps> Go to... <gasps> So cute! Who was that letter from? Nobody. Unlock. Oh, it's my phone! Oh my god, this is so cool. This is so cool. So I'm guessing this is the load. Oh, what's this? Augmented Eye. Mass emigration continues. Wonderlands are the newest threat. Cyborg in Hills return next year. Oh, it's the news! Cyborg in Hills returns next year to Super Silver Thunderdome. Wow. What's not to love about it? It's a cyborg wearing heels, cutting stuff. Bruh. Click on myself. I can't click it. <laughs> I don't know why I read that as best butts. Bruh. Okay. That's a bad word. Jill, why would you wear a shirt like that? Huh? Anyway. Okay. I see, I see. Music! Please select the song. A jazzy! Every day is night. I didn't buy that. <gasps> I just realized Jill has her own beastie! Oh my god. Jill, you're my best friend. Okay. Um, his acting is unnatural. I don't care. I don't think he cares about the rules of nature anymore. What's going on? I'm gonna go work. Tuesday, December 13th. Good evening. <gasps> Who are you? Ah. Hey there, Jill. Who the F are you? I don't know who you are. Oh, wait, no, I do know who you are. Hey, John! Hey, John! Is the music kind of loud? Or is it just for me? Turn it down slightly. Okay. <clears throat> John, what's got you so upset? When will you admit you have a John face gill? A John face gill? Oh, his name's Gil! When you let people call you Jules. Hey, is this some flirty banter? Quiet. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Don't know. She went out to buy some stuff and... Oh, wait, are you a worker? I thought you were a customer. Oh my god. Did you hear what I just told you? No. You said something? Yes, that you look distracted. Very distracted. Um... Is nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. Wait a second. I need to give Jill a voice. Hold on. I think Asataro voice fits Jill's character a bit. What stuff? <coughs> Hold on. <laughs> wow. 
well. I have to pay rent by the 30th, which is always stressful and... Ah! There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Hey! Don't worry about it, Jill! Everybody does that! Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out that the bar is at risk of closing. Oh no! So not only is my life being shaken up, I'm apparently going crazy. Hey! Talking to yourself is a sign that you have a healthy relationship with yourself. Doesn't everybody talk to themselves? I talk to myself. <clears throat> On top of that, neutering for it left me with a completely empty wallet and I'll get evicted if I miss friend again. That is a sentence that I can I can relate. I have gone through this process as well. It's gonna be okay. And there's all the beer cans around my apartment. Oh, okay. That sounds like a you problem, Jill. <laughs> Jill! Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Don't you worry. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano man, I'll skip the rest. But bear with me for a second, okay? Okay. Let's start with the sugar rush. Look for the recipe using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the top left. You can also sort drinks by flavors like sweet or types like manly. What's a manly drink? Drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right into the shaker in the center. <gasps> Gill. When done, press the mix button and press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself will serve itself to serve it and it'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you need to press reset and try again. Not hold off. You can press reset at any time, even while the shake is moving. Okay. Gil, I'm the one that went through the formal BTC instruction. Yay! Manly drinks have those cute little umbrellas. Not hold off. Okay. Use the navigation bar. What is the navigation bar? Top left? By na Oh, here! Okay, by name. Uh, Sugar Rush. Let's start with that. Okay, there's a two Adelhide. Two Adelhide. One. Two. One Powdered Delta. Wow, an optional Carmatrine. Is that alcohol? Optional! Carmatrine's never optional. Here, happy now? But not... Little, but not quite. Let's do one more. I know. Please humor me for a bit. Oh my god. Some drinks need to be blended. Oh no! This is done by mixing it for over 5 seconds. Oh, okay. You also need to check if the drink is served on the rocks or aged. Oh my god. Check ice and age buttons to select the one you need. Okay. The station will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind, it's just a fun fact. Okay! Give me a moon blast and I'll leave you alone. Okay, we're gonna make a moon blast. Blended drinks need to be left to mix at least for five seconds. Okay. Um Moon Blast. Okay. Six out of One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. All on the rocks and blended. What does that mean? We need ice. One power delta. One flattener dot and two. Ooh. Okay. Ice. Mix. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Here, did I amuse you for long enough? You did, sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Oh yeah, before I forget. You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh my god, a big drink! If the recipe says it uses optional carbon chain, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Is this testing if I'm a responsible bartender? Bruh. 
It doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. It's the alcoholic factor in a drink. It doesn't change the taste, but the amount still has an effect. <laughs> if you add too much, the client will get drunk. Ow! You done with the exposition? I see. I think I know. I think I know my purpose in this game. Hold on, I need to write a disclaimer really quickly. Disclaimer. Responsibly. Okay. My disclaimer! No one can fault me now. Alright. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> hey guys! Oh, who's Dana? Oh, but. Eh? Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Can I change the music? No. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest or bring her unconscious body in here. Is that a girl or a guy? Oh, I gave her a valley accent though. Is it boss? Oh, big boss! Oh, never mind. She's gonna make such a ruckus when she wakes up, you know that. <laughs> That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. Oh, okay, that was big boss. You can't just push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There's two of you. There's two of you. Believe in yourselves. <sighs> do you think Chief knocked her out? Chief! Oh my god, you know someone is powerful if their nickname is Chief. That's unlikely. She'd be crowing about or taunting us if that were the case. It's not like her to pick on such a small girl, at least not unprovoked. Um, we just need to keep her quiet. She needs to, She seems to be just sleeping soundly, not coma, not in a coma, bruh. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes, I'll start working while you clean the bathroom. Come again. While you spend the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we had some interesting clients come in. Clean the toilet. Dogs, lots of them. You're joking. Gil, you've known me for how long now? Do I look like the kind of woman who knows who... Oh, I, was, I read that and who, who knows how to make a joke. Who would make a joke like that? Also, as punishment for leaving me all on my own, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathroom. Get plunging! I see no problem. Where is the cleaning stuff? There is no one on this planet in the human realm who would be that Nonchalant about cleaning toilets! With that out of the way, let's put some music on the new jukebox. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. Um, I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. <gasps> jukebox! <laughs> oh, we can add songs. Okay, okay, okay. Um, definitely every, every night. Yes, very good. Um... I like driving wild. Very nice. Can I listen to these? Oh yeah! Okay. I like this one. <laughs> Will you remember me? <gasps> oh, that's cute. <sighs> Everything will be okay. Why is it suddenly so soft? What the heck? <gasps> oh, that's nice. Okay. See, I 
turn up the I turn up the volume. Turn down the volume because it was too loud. Nighttime maneuvers. Yes, please! Those who dwell in shadows. I believe. Like when it comes to OSTs, like if the first 10 seconds don't like you know scream out to you is not that big of a bang. Okay. <clears throat> a star pisses the dark. <gasps> I can't hear it. Oh, I hear it. So your attention span is 10 seconds? Yes. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I like that. Renew renewed hope. We need some bangers. Yes! And... <gasps> yes! And... <laughs> okay. How to, let me just see if there's any... I mean, we can always switch. But... Yes, here we go. Very nice. Ready! Is that a quote? Oh my god, is that the quote of the game? I'm very excited. Hey! You! Get me a beer! Excuse me? The name is Jill. Sure, right on it. He wants a beer. He looks like a big guy though. What's wrong with big guy? What's wrong with... Why a bottle drink? <laughs> okay, never mind. A beer! Um... Full mix. Okay. One out uh, of four! Oh my god. Okay. One. Two. Powder Delta. Yo, this has a lot of stuff in it. One, two, three, four. Mix! Here you go. Here you go. No, no, this isn't gonna cut it. Give me a big one. Um, sure. Oh, I see. We have to double it. Okay, we're gonna double it. One, two, one, two, three, four. Yo, this is gonna be a big drink. Eight combo trying it, bruh. Oh my god. How about this one? Ah, uh, yes. Now this one's fit for a man like me. Right. Exactly my reaction. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could certainly use a presence like mine. Oh. Sir, you have a, um, somewhat of an inflated ego. But it's fine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes like New Jersey. What's that? Huh? I'm confused. I am just as confused as you. What kind of work do you do, mister? Donovan! You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the Augmented I Oh my god! It's the editor of the magazine. I mean, not the magazine. Of, of, the, of the newspaper! Nothing gets published there without my blessing. I see. The day started with quite the interesting fellow. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles on Alice Rabbit? Who's Alice Rabbit? Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. Oh. 
Can you blame them? The idea of some wild card hacker working for their goals and nobody else's? That's the kind of corny... Oh, shit, that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. Is he a conspiracy theorist? And clicks brings money, and money brings nice stuff, like a very big beer. Stuff like cars and houses and plastic surgery for the missing... And what kind of... What? <laughs> what? Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hacker, just that you write about them every single day. Your kids? How old are your kids, mister? Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bears. Ooh. Hmm, bad boy. Think that it'll help in making full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. Oh my. And second, you're tired of one article about suppose or the hacker, but not in all the daily stories about murders and other horrors. Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. True? True, true, true. I have enough pressure and problems as it is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from lack of traffic. I see. Is he calling his audience dumb? Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get de 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 desensitized. Donovan, is that the word you're looking for? Desensitized? People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it was only it only took the news of some elderly woman being killed. Oh, oh no, no. To guarantee clicks. Oh my. Now you need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by it. Oh my. Oh my! Wow. That's not enough. They need a full sub story behind it. Oh my. That's why I like those urban legends. They're easy to run about and you can make any shit up you want. He's just saying he makes up shit for his newspaper. Bruh. That karma train is really getting to you, isn't it? Spamming while they're hot, and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories will see them. May this game isn't for a 12 year old. I accept the challenge. That brings money. Money's good. Yes, yes, point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic? Oh, I hate those bra- Hey! <sighs> what did you say? What did you say? You hate brats? Excuse me? I'm offended. They write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be sodomized. Bruh. The worst part is that they know half of our clicks come from them, so they all get all evil like on my ass. I have no idea what you're talking about, sir. I think you're being too harsh. Wait, no. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columnists on your page are annoying. <laughs> Jill. Hey, you can't do it. You can't do this man like this. The kid on the restaurant critique column. Ah, shit. Forgot the brat's name. Can you stop saying brat in a condescending way, mister? Restaurant? I believe that. That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Hey, that's not very nice. Anyway, this column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituary. However, he still insists that I'll keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurant. The kid is literally scamming you. But I relate because, yo, imagine being, like, sent off and paid to try different restaurants. And that's your job. Bruh. I wouldn't have any problem if he actually wrote about half the places he visits. Oh, okay, no, that sounds like a terrible brat. Hey, kid! dream job did you guys know that there is a job there's a there is a professional job like occupation called garlic bread taster i think i saw that on tv once that's can i have that job <laughs> can i have that 
job too. I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming he's a food critic. That sounds like what I would do. <laughs> My man talks a lot. He really does. Is this what Karma Train does to you? Poor bastard only gets laughed at when he says that. I do remember some guy coming in here asking for free drinks, saying he was a critic. Oh my god, I'm gonna... No. Nobody can rip me off. Did he look like a fat child with a really small face? <laughs> Bruh. That's rude. <gasps> I can change a TV! <gasps> What a deal! No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway, all this talk made me thirsty. Please give me another... Try to give me a beer this time. I did! This man likes his beer. I gave him a beer! He wants another huge beer? Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here you go. Oh, uh, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. Maybe lower the common try. No, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Did I start a kid? Right. So tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole, sir. If a place smells like soap and dog piss, I'm within my constitutional rights to call it. Hey! Gil! I told you to clean the toilet! Gil! This is all your fault, Gil! Who was that? Nobody important. Oh my god. Hey, I heard that. Don't worry, John. You're doing great, John. Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. Oh. So you can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charm. Hey, did you read the script ahead of time? No, I didn't. Not really. At least not that I know of. To begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client, but I don't see you losing your shit. Are you referring to yourself as a VIP? You're not making me feel special, honey. I'm not your wife, darling. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Especially the rare couple kind of famous. Okay. Those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see you fall from grace. Why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells? Bruh. <clears throat> people pretend that they love celebs, but what they really want to see their idols torn down to their level. Is that what you guys feel about me? <laughs> Thank you, music. <laughs> okay. They want to see them suffer to get their comeuppance for daring to be so much more successful than them. Hey, anyone can be successful if you put your mind to it. I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but no one wants to admit to enjoying it. Jill, you base. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. You're very ballsy to come into my bar and tell me you thought wrong. Bruh. They want to escape their lives by living someone else's. I mean, I can understand that. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. Jill, you best girl. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with sandals or if they're dating God knows who? Jill, you're so based! Jill, can I be your best friend? Jill. 
Gil. Granted, sucks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. <gasps> Jill, you're so based! Oh, please. As a bartender, I bet you have a strong voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. No, I'm just here to make money. And feed my cat. Just like hairdressers. The sounds hypocritical coming from you. I'm literally here to make money so I can feed my cat. Oh no, Jill stunned! Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this comedian judge, ooh, bitten, over what some girl was wearing to the store. But why? No matter what you say, these people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because they're the only ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. I mean, only some celebrities do that. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways, indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for these little moments where they make a mistake and fall to their level. I mean, there's two ways to think about that. I think like, you know, Indulging in luxuries is just a money thing. It's just a materialistic thing. But like, you say, Donovan, you're calling it falling to their level. <laughs> Sorry, I just read a comment. Where is this guy's accent going? I don't know. It's just, it's, it's flown away with the common train. Um, <coughs> I mean, like, fall to their level versus just being a normal human. It's just, you know, you can see it both ways. I can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see they're human. Yeah, I, I agree with Jill. Hey, that dude that plays a nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. Yeah. I like how this is still the first customer. Bruh. To be fair, the gossip articles don't help. Sensationalizing everything. True. Oh, hold on. My chat died. Hold on. Give me three seconds. Everybody hold on! Everybody hold on! Sorry, my chat died. <clears throat> and you were back! Right. You like your big words, eh, hey, brat? Hey, don't call me a brat. Well, two can play that game of... Yeah, where your big words at, Donovan. Huh? Where your game... Where your... Where your... Where your big words at? I am a brat. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're a bartender, right? I think he's drunk. No, I'm a lab rat. Hell better welcome, Chris! <laughs> how, how did she know? Oh. Uh. Sarcasm, waste my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Don't come into my bar and tell me what to do. Anyway. I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in our career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. No, thank you. It'll be like that. Oh, my God. Oh my! Holy moly! Was I that priest that published confessionary stories and then got excommunicated and lynched? <gasps> Ow! People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender, a personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghost ride and half of our staff do that. No, it's dangerous. I don't want to do it. And besides, it's not my secret to tell. You don't really think Alana Smithy is just one person. Why are you revealing your trade secrets? Bruh. Eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing our clients rant about their lives. Ugh. 
and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retire, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Jill, you are my best friend. You want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Oh, he... Oh, he gone. D did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. He's gone. Mr. Donovan. Mr. He... He's gone. Is it really that special? Thank you so much for the Aka Supers! Oh my god! Nine Breaker! Thank you so much! Bum, 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 bum! I read them at the end. Thank you so much! Everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just the title. It's too impersonal and cold. Mr. Dawson was my father and grandfather's two generals. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like... Can't you just tell people to tell to call you certain things if you're the boss? They're referring to me! To the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position at... Oh, he drunk. To boss, to me. He's drunk. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, God's no, but I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal trick. <laughs> oh, he drunk. Oh, he drunk. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh, yeah, you were asking something. What was it? Drink. Another one. Do you want? But I need to cut myself up. I just remembered I have a night shift later. Give me something bitter and big, but not alcoholic. I can do that. Okay. Bitter and big. Bitter drinks. Um... Tastes like old chocolate milk with good... Is it caramel? Bitter, really soft cake. Is that a... Wait, 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 wait. Bitter? A gut puncher. Manly, strong. There's no alcohol. I think that... I think gut puncher might be the one. I don't want it to be burning. I think it's gut puncher. Alright, let's make a gut puncher. One, two... Wait, does he want like a big drink though? Because he's big, right? So to do like... Ten? I'm kidding. Okay. You said none. Okay, okay, okay! Oh. Oh, age the mix. Whoops. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. I didn't read. I made something that I shouldn't have made. I see. Age. go. Paint me blue and call me so you can actually do it. I'm doing my job, mister. Ah, this will help me stay up late tonight. Say, kid. My name has turned from Miss Bartender to Brat to Kid. Does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hellhole. There was some bloke named Sven. Sven! Is he a reindeer? Wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. That doesn't sound like Sven. Sven is a good reindeer. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there's no local investors. Just wanted to let you know how lucky you are. Why am I lucky? Investors suck harder than... <laughs> ah! Donovan, this is a grown-up bar. Language, please. <laughs> They actually think they're so important because they put their money in the company. I mean, that's what an investor is. I mean, you give me money so you can make more. Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no! They have to stick their noses and start changing the silliest of things. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, government, and those kind of organizations, don't you? 
Yeah, but that's paperwork. I'll make someone else do it and call it a day. These losers ask for meetings. Hey, people just want to know where their money's going. Chill out. You're so drunk. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. Oh my god. And there's that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? You know, I can kind of relate to you, Donovan. Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. MORE CLICKS! I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up and it's never enough for them. It's never enough! Donovan! Feel the anger. Well, you know what? They want more clicks! I'll give them more clicks! I'll give them more clicks! I'll show them what happens when I do what I, they want and don't reject that news! They'll know who the hell Donovan- Oh, he gone. Did he pass out or did he leave? I'm not sure. <laughs> Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid for it before storming off. I wonder what happened with Sven. We never heard from him again. Jail! What do you want, John? Yes. Nice music entrance. What the hell happened in that bathroom? You don't need to know. That kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. <laughs> Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The ceiling, the... Ew! John, I'm trying to drink my coffee, please. John, please. John, please. You wake up Briar Rose over there. Who's Briar Rose? I won't forget this! Thanks, John. Welcome to Valhalla. I immediately know what his voice sounds like, but I can't mimic it, so I'm gonna try. Big Gut Punch. First. Low gruff, yeah, gruffy and like really, like really breathy. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wants a gut punch. He like says big as well, right? He wants big, a gut punch. So I'm gonna okay. He said big. I'll give you big. You also look like you need a chill. So, I'm gonna make you very chill. Oh, that's it? Oh, okay. I hope this punches you in the gut. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Why do people keep saying that? It's like going to any profession and being like, going up to a barista. Oh my god. I guess you can actually make coffee. Oh my god, you're a chef? I guess you can actually make food. Uh, duh! Or else I wouldn't be working here! Hmm, this crack house is a bar. Hello, crack house. Jill, I'm with you. Bruh. Smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel? John! I'm telling you! It's John's fault, it's not my fault. I'm surprised you decided to come to a little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? Payment registry says... <laughs> Sorry for the question then. Mr. Ingram McDougal? Ingram? Is he blushing? Oh no, that's just shade. Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's a Tuesday. And? Please let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant. If I pay you, will you come with me to a... Mm, nope. Mm, nope. Mm, anything besides that. <laughs> oh my god. No. Then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Is that 
such a pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I've absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all I'm starting to doubt her taste. A regular? Can I ask who? No. <laughs> this is a lovely conversation we have going on here. I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent, decent taste. Yeah, that was me. Hey, Jill! Where'd you put the dish soap? Gills, run out! Hey, Dana. Below the sink where it's always been. Nice music change. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance our customer experience? Bruh. No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here! <gasps> Who's the boss? You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. <gasps> Who's the boss? Donna Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off more riders all by herself, knocking them out one... <gasps> oh my god. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard of before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her mechanical... She has a mechanical arm! I heard a couple stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. She's a machine! You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed riders with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Yeah, learn your place, England. Interesting. You can relax, though. I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved a class 5 weaponry, the other one a pickup artist, and the latest had an alpaca. <laughs> hey! Maybe the client just wanted to bring their pet alpaca into a bar. You've never seen that before! An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but... There's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and she started screaming she was an alpaca. <laughs> oh my god! Sounds like a fun time. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's leave it there. Alrighty. Can I get you anything else? Give me a pile driver, please. Yeah, you got your manners now. Coming right up. What? He wants a pile driver. I honestly feel like surplexing him, though. What does that mean? It's a bitter drink, wasn't it? What's the difference? It doesn't burn as hard on the tongue, but you better not have a sore throat. Oh, it's a wrestling move! Oh, I thought it was the drink. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here you go. It's fine, I guess. Hey, lady, have you ever faked? I'm not old enough for this conversation! I must say so idle. 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 I don't know what that means. What is that? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I don't understand your question, I'm 12. That's quite a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I was just thinking about how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time. Lies can make you happy. Lies can set you free. Reality will come crashing through the door. But for that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. Are you okay? 
I say lies are like... <laughs> I like your stash. You know they exist, but you shouldn't acknowledge them. Oh my god. Does this mean you really faked whatever that word means? Because you look like you've had a lot of experience. I don't like... what. What is this? I must say so idle. I don't know what this conversation is. And still, that's quite the random thought to suddenly have. Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really. I was just thinking about how people making polite comments about this crap. Hey. Hey. Hey, this is a beautiful establishment. Of course you were. I'm gonna need another drink. Already? Don't you think that you're drinking quite a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. A fringe weaver? We've never made that before. What is that? Fringe weaver! Nine Carmatrine! It's like drinking acidic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. Bruh. This is not good. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? This guy's drunk. He's very drunk. Empty like hungry? I'm always hungry. Empty like there's a part of you missing. Are you talking about... The Kokoro? Is he getting all, like, philosophical on me? Can't say I particularly have. I just feel this is part of myself that lacks something. Yes, it's called etiquette and manners. An urge to get or do something that I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? <laughs> Jill. Bruh. It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking about it. Any suggestions? Collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports. What about fishing? Take up fishing! Sounds like a lot cheaper than the alternative. What's the alternative? Women and alcohol? Actually, no. Company and alcohol. Bura. Uh, language, please. Language, please. Oi. I'm officially zoning out everything that this man is telling me. Language, please. What? What? Um, have you tried rescuing? <laughs> you should get a dog, mate. Think of anything else that might help. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Okay. Anyway, I'm leaving. The smell is killing me. Please never return. Don't say that, Jill! Oh. Boss, I'm gonna take my break. Right! Oh my god. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Save. It's too much. It's too much. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Oh. Ooh. How do I... wait... 
You can reveal right clicking on the wheel. Glitch City. Oh, I like that. Okay. Ready! Back in action! Oh, we have so much money! <gasps> Hello! Good evening! Ooh. Good evening. Good evening! What the? Would you mind taking off your helmet? Oh, sorry. It's so comfortable. I usually forget I have it on. Oh, it's not a robot? <gasps> Cute girl! She's not a robot! She's not a robot! Is this better? Yeah, thanks. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist Seipi Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. <gasps> Wait, that's too long. Just call me Sei. What can I get for you, say? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, not a sweet, as in cool. What? Although a cool drink would be nice too. But not cool as in great. And especially not as in big. Say so? More so since I have to get up early and I can't afford a hangover. I'm sorry, did you get that? A sweet drink. Preferably a cold one that's not too big. Okie dokie! Something small, sweet, and icy. <gasps> Can we make her a frappuccino? <laughs> um, sweet drinks. Sparkly stuff. <gasps> sweet, girly, happy. Oh, that's cute. What's another type? Oh, blueberry. <gasps> Soft. Oh, she wants something cold though. Hold on. Um, piano woman. I want the ice though, sweet and on the rocks. Hmm. Find a sweet one with ice. That's what I'm trying to find. Moon blast? Okay, wait, let's make her moon blast! But moon blast is alcohol in it though. Whatever! Moon blast it is! Nice. Moon blast is too big. Oh. That is big though. Was there another one? Blue fairy? Blue fairy is not thingy though. Da, da, da. All of these are not on rocks. It needs to be on the rocks. They're all just aged and mixed. Yeah, yeah. Frantini aged. Oh, Moonblast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Moonblast was that one. Aged and mixed. Aged and mixed. All mixed. Yeah, so it has to be Moonblast. Moonblast it is. I needed. Thank you! We don't get many white knights clients. I only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps? Are you the guys who deal with riots and stuff? Riot? Oh, no, no. You're thinking about the Blitz Peak Corps. The one with the huge plated six. Yeah, those. No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. I think say is a little bit... Say so. In fact, you could say we do with their aftermath. Also! To rescue, heal, and protect. We're the angels who soothe their suffering enemy attacks. Oh my god. We're the light of hope in the darkness of time. The ones who assist the victims of crime. Did you write Iris the song? <laughs> Wait, what should we protect? 
What was that? Sorry, it's not about Pledge of Allegiance. We were sighted every morning. That's kind of your body. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from... stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars! Oh no, bad word. Bad, bad! Car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. Oh my god. You mentioned heal. Are you a doctor? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in, firefighter in... In that I sometimes rescue people from places. She's an angel! It's also really rewarding. I mean, I've yet to meet somebody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah, this one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building. I looked down and was blown away by how pretty the city was. It was like a star... I don't think she's okay. I think she's a little bit too... What's the word? Tenen? Tenen? No, ten no, tenen is not. Ano... Okay, teru? She's kind of um, an airhead. She's an airhead! Oh, and there was this time we were cleaning up after the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring from a hydrant. With the light scattered pieces of glass, it was almost dreamlike. Or she secretly yandere. That's not what I meant by shocking. No, but those are the sights. And they're shocking, right? Um, never mind. Wait, did I miss hearing you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry about it. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks come, usually come in a can. No problem. A classy drink. Let's see what I can find. Classy! And she said something not too big. Oh, Sour, classy, and vintage. Um. Whoa. Bubbly? The Mercury Blast? Bruh. <clears throat> Brandini? That's ten. Oh yeah, I can I can add up the thing. Two. Oh this is this is also ten. 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 Okay, oh, yeah, they're all ten, okay. Um what drink would suit her? Hama, 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 hama. I think a brandini would suit her. Okay, let's do it. Gonna age it. This suits her. Mm -hmm. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have others, but she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kind of drinks, so I wanted to see what's all so special about them. Stella! Stella! What do you think? I was expecting something... Oh, I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? My name is... Um... Just call me Jill. 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 Jill is sword for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian. <gasps> Jillian! Do not call me Jillian, please. Oh. Sorry about that. <gasps> no, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Backstory! Why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell on it too much. Jillian! I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? 
Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. I don't like angering nice people. If it helps, I really like this place. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? The smell of dog... Okay, she's definitely... There's something okashi about this head. Why is def... There's something wrong up here. There is definitely something wrong up here. My mom used to be a veterinarian and I used to go to a clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. Um... It makes you feel comfy in the stout. I don't know if that's normal. What made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian? I was never a good student, so studying medicine was any kind was out of the question. It was mostly because of something that happened when I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other knight white What? I thought white knights were meant to protect and serve. Woke up in a hospital with a friend watching over me. What the heck? <gasps> it wasn't a prophetic moment, but it felt like it was my calling. I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Not at all. It's interesting. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run in the opposite direction. But there's another one that saved me. I'm so con oh. I'm so confused. I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Nadahoda. Not to be an extremist extent, but you get me. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically, though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the least paperwork involved. She's smart. Okay. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights. It's too broad a term. There's not one specific type. There are many different classes. Rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bureaucrats. Really? They get assigned to companies to handle accounting. People usually ask them because they speed up processes. Oh. But a few were assigned when a company suspected of having weird under the table deals. Oh my god. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting school bullying. <gasps> they were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. It shouldn't be a fad. What the heck? I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. I can't afford that many drinks. Besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. That sounds like a challenge! Oh, you know what? I'll have something else. I remember some drink called a martini. A brandini. No, I'm pretty sure it's a martini. It's brandini. Trust me, I'll get you one. Didn't we just give her one? A bruh. Bratini. Bruh. a bit difficult though. She's more into classier places. No, not that this place isn't nice, but... Don't worry. I know the kind of place I work in. But it shouldn't be too bad. Whoa! What was that? What was that? Sounded like an explosion! <gasps> I better check that. I paid you already, right? Yeah, go ahead. Be careful! Be careful, Zay! She left her helmet. 
Well, if she's coming back, I'll just hold on, hold it, hold onto it for her. I'll go check what that ever loving explosion was. Okay, be careful! What? Oh, she woke up. <gasps> Where? Hello. Good evening, and welcome to Valhalla. What's on the TV today? Ooh, bubbles. Va Valhalla? Am I dead? No, you have not been witnessed yet. Does that mean that Uncle Ing is rambling about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar? No. Afterlife? I'm not dead? No. As far as I can tell, no. Nope. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Oh my god, I'm breathing! Where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What are you planning to do with me? Okay, you got sassy real quickly. <coughs> oh my god. Calm down, lady! You gotta chill! Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... <laughs> You need to calm down! Yo, you need to chill. Lady, you need to... You need to chill, lady. Okay. Okay, you need to... You need to chill? You need to... LADY! LADY! Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or to throw at her face. Calm her down. Um, what will calm her down? A lot of alcohol. Uh, primary drinks. <laughs> um, something bitter? No. Hmm. She needs something strong. I need something with optional. <gasps> they used to actually sparkle, but many complaints about skin problems. Okay. Sweet, light, and fruity. Ooh, tastes like old chocolate milk with good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel. This would calm her down. Mm, sunshine cloud sounds really nice. Yeah. You know, just to really... You, she, she needs to calm down. She, she just needs to calm down. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serves drinks. So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry, it's on the house. What did you spice it with? Roofies? Pumpkins? What's a pumpkin? No, I wouldn't even think of it. Your stuttering makes you suspicious. If I ever added anything like that, they would dock my pay and tips. Not to mention I have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario. I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. And you just calm down and drink it! The thought of going through all that is just... Even if you say that, let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dan Zane sent you. Man. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. Boom! That's why it was so noisy. Not other. A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What a... <laughs> Have fun, John! Have fun! I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first, though. Did you have to pay? No. 
No problem then. Try it on the drink. Says negative. See? There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. Even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of the chain. Sort of like spicy chicken bars. And finally, I'm not making you a drink. I'm not making you drink this. I offer to you as a piece, sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious. I definitely didn't put anything in there. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace, and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something went of value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield... <sighs> Bruh... You're getting... Annoying now. And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? Then DRINK IT! I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant and that your work does matter. Are you insulting me or are you insulting... I'm... Menduxe! Kononna! Not sure you should drink it all so fast. How was it? Too strong. Did you think this would calm me down? <laughs> uh, are you alright? <laughs> you were telling the truth. Sorry about that. No problem. If I were you, I'd probably react the same way. I should apologize for my last comment. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were asleep until that car crashed outside. I... I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the street, stripped of clothes, dignity, and slash or organs. What is with this chicken organs? How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Or sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Oh my god, the dramatic music. I'll tell you what, your drinks are in the house tonight. Why would you do that? Consider it an apology on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. Yeah, you might be right. I'll take you up on your offer. A piano man! Would you be fine? I just gulped the last one. Okay, okay. Coming right up. She asked for a piano man. A piano man! Oh, wow. Okay, that's a big drink. That's a... That's a big drink. Holy moly. Okay. That is a big drink! That's a big... Ooh, it looks very, 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 very nice though. This is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. Oh my god! What did your dad do to provoke the guy? Wrong place at the wrong time. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist left off stage and started punching him. What? What? I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jazz does that to you. The piano man has an interesting story. He was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently, it mixes all the flavors said friend liked the most. Okay, this is not a very, um, suitable... We need something sad. There we go. That's nice. So this is how it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long, hard day at work? I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. Where do you work? Miss... Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though. I'm still just an intern. She's young! Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Augment... She's an intern at the newspaper! I read it every morning. In fact... Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. Oh, not a fan. Not a fan? Drama? <gasps> he leaves his reek wherever he goes. Oh my god, it's all coming together. 
So you believe me? God, you have no idea how much I hate that child chauvinist child. That's a very long insult that I don't know how to say. Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people haven't done before they realize what's going on. Oh my god. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work server maintenance. What? How did that work? A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. Yo. Donovan! Bruh! And would you believe it? The guy became decent at server maintenance despite having no previous experience. <gasps> Dude! It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Oh! Okay. Knowing that I have to work for him is... Oh! I mean, you say you... What? Okay. Why are you working there then? Did I ask something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Jill. Is it hard to be a bartender, Jill? Yes, with customers like you, yes. I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. You keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. Oh my god. All while answering the whimsy of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At one point I thought about being a bartender. You would not succeed. Honey, but I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance. Oh. Well, it depends on where you start working. I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. The boss sounds like an interesting person. What with wanting to put me somewhere safe and all. She is! She's so cool and collected. Has no corn or any excitement about stuff. She's been a bit tense the last couple of days, but even then, when you're with her, everything feels under control. Dana! She also has this mechanical arm. I don't know how she got it. <laughs> what was that laugh? Sorry, I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. Is she hitting on me? While I was hitting on Dana? What? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. What's going on? And besides, it's getting late. I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One Brantini, please. Coming right up! Brantini! Okie dokie. One, two, three. Oh, wait, no. Here you go! She's had a lot of alcohol. Do you need to be cut off? Oh, she's coughing. Are you okay? Just a bit... Oh, she drunk. Oh, she's gonna pass out. Uh-oh. It <clears throat> helps me focus. Coughing helps you focus? Hey, Jill. Do you work with other women? I work for a woman, but my only co-worker is male. Why? You lucky. You have no idea the heaven you live in. When I started my internship, every intern was female. Have you ever tried competing with women for a good spot? They're relentless. Have you ever tried making friends with any of them? Friends? They aren't in up for friendship, they're out for blood! I'm sorry, I mean... The other day I got an assignment and all I got for my efforts was an afternoon spent locked in the bar. Are you okay, Kim? Kim! The alcohol was getting... Oh my god. This other time when our supervisor praised me, I'm still looking for my briefcase. Sometimes I just want to take all of them and throw them into the sewers. Bruh. Let the lizardmen feast on the... Well, who's the lizardmen? I'm so tired of having to deal with that. She's drunk. Tired. Tired. No sleeping here, please. Do you want me to call you a cab? Would you be so kind? Hey, it's Jill. Can you send us a cab? 
Hey, Kim, I'm gonna need your full name. Kim, really, you love the letter. Wow, what a flowery name! Kimberly... La... The Let's. I have no idea how to spell it. It'll be here... Oh. She's asleep! She's been through a lot today, I guess. Hey, Jill, bathroom's done. I'm leaving. Guide Miss Lavette to her cab on your way out, please. Oh, she woke up? And fell asleep again! Sure, anything for a client. Excuse me, miss. Please, help me walk you to your cab. Isn't it please let me walk you to your cab, not help me? Are we done for the night? Hey, Dana! Seems like it. <laughs> where's Gil? And where's the girl that was here? Gil cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. He's stanky! Kim woke up, had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim. How does she look to you? How was she? Are you worried? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. You worried about her? Wouldn't you be? No? I think she's fine. Hey, boss, do you feel like calling your boss is too impersonal? No, not really, no. It's not like you call me that because I'm a stranger. It's out of habit. Dana's so cool! Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. And I'll give Gil a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Day one! Woo! I got an extra for calming that girl down. <gasps> Amazing! Wow. Your membership is automatically renewed. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Wow! Alice Rabbit. <gasps> Anon wants to confess her feelings to her best friend. Oh my god. Who's Mickey? Is Mickey an idol? Oh, I skipped over thread one. I did. Oh! Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Mickey concert. I'm in all the con What? What is this? Oh my god. I'm confused. Okay, let's talk about Alice Rabbit. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Is this the scary side of the internet? She leaked the internal White Knight memos? Bruh. Okay. Wow. Not a hold on. What's on the augmented eye? Okay. Local woman, local hero. Seventy percent of our readers consider. I think Alice Rabbit. Alice Rabbit might be a top. <laughs> Bruh! Whoa! What is this? Does anyone know binary code? Man. 7% of our readers consider shrimp ramen to be disgusting. Don't say that in front of Gouda. Wow. What's this? Firefighters were called to the mysterious rescuer. Oh my god. Okay. 
Okay. Was that it? I think that was it. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Shop! <gasps> Wait a second! <gasps> Wait a second! Wait, I can't... What? What is this? What is this? <gasps> a hollow plant? Oh my god. So I need at least $800. Okay, got it, got it, got it. But I don't know what this stuff is. Mulan tea. Ooh, tastes like green tea. Ooh, ashes. Sorry, I really like that. What does that mean? Where's my tea? No tea? No, you can now serve the tea in the bar. Oh, so those are new drink items? Oh, shoulder massage? Bruh. A Mickey banner? Meet the staff. Beer on discount. Bruh. Jill wanted a pot... a plotted... flooded plant? Oh. Oh. What's that? 1500 minus 600. Well, let's have enough money. Yeah, I'll have enough money. Okay. We bought a plant! A very nice. Okay. Hold on, I'm gonna go idol meeting real quick. I'll be back in a sec. Hold on. Hold on. I'll be back. Listen to the amazing music while I'm gone. I just realized. Is that me and Dana on the screen? Am I in love with my boss? I think I'm in love with my boss. Bruh. Bruh. Okay. When are you gonna have curry yesterday? Anyway. I'm going to work! Day two! That was one day. Oh, good evening. Hey, Jill. Oh, it's the helmet. <gasps> bah! That's the sound you don't hear every day? Boss, what are you doing here with that helmet? I was just asked about... I was, I was just about to ask you where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and she forgot to take it. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the cow. Wait. Do you regularly put things... On without asking who they belong to first. I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. As your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. Oh, Dana sounds like an amazing boss. <laughs> well, this helmet is comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and really, really cool. <laughs> Hello. 
It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was good. Don't run! You have work to do! Hey, Dina sounds cool. I'm not going back to Hong Kong! Why is he going back to Hong Kong? What? Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. <gasps> Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? What? Where? Nothing. Never mind. Dana! Dana! What's... what's happening? She seems happy. Okay. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she somehow... If she somehow relaxed now, good. She sounds very happy with her helmet. <laughs> okay! Is there any new songs? Metropolis. Yeah. Already. Yeah! Who's this? Oh, Miss Kim. <gasps> because of you, I got up late and lost a full day of work. And on the day, everyone got a nifty assignment too. Wait, why is that because of me? I didn't do anything. You were the one that got me drunk and made me fall asleep like a goddamn log. Not my fault. So you arrived home safely then. That's nice. That's all you have to say? Yeah. What do you want me to say? If I felt remorse over every client that gets drunk, I wouldn't be working. True. Morally speaking, I shouldn't let people get drunk. But getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. And I did say that I didn't know how much alcohol you could handle, didn't I? Did she just come into my store and just scream at me? What kind of answer is that? Hello, Mr. Donovan. <gasps> do I know you? He's back! Hey, Brat, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? A big beer? The usual. Ah, uh, gee, I wonder what he means. A gigantic beer. Huge. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call serve. The usual after one day. You're not wrong. Ugh. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? We were supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy... What? All of them came flocking to me like a first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. They were supposed to be doing an interview, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that, I found myself here, blessing your hellhole with my presence again. You were here yesterday. How did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later. Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. Oh! Wait, is it Mickey? I'd rather work here and deal with a pack of competitive people. How was the interview? Easy enough, the fact that the gal had a nice pair of... <gasps> Mr. Donovan! Mr. Donovan! You've come a long way in the department of... <laughs> okay, okay. She was a... Lilum? What's a Lilum? Oh, she's a model! I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. Everybody is anatomically correct in every way. What are you talking about? Hey, you, the guy with the John face. <laughs> what the hell's a John face? Do you have a John face? Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. Oh! <gasps> Backstory. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. 
10 years ago, he tried to start a silicon business. Bruh. Okay. 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 Okay, Mr. Donovan. Okay. Okay. Okay, Mr. Donovan. Okay. 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 That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean... There was? Oh my god. Oh my god. Whoa. General fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs. Oh my god. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. Oh. It's heavy stuff, yeah. Can I get back to just your personal drama, please, Mr. Donovan? He learned Chinese in two weeks? Bruh. <laughs> Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? <laughs> Is Mr. Donovan, like, secretly huge brain? When you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? <laughs> Tangerine Canto, what? This man is lying directly to my face. Oh my god. It's important to clarify. Yes, there's a lot of dialects. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Look at the... Look at the cluelessness in his eyes! <laughs> I went to Hong Kong and managed to steal a deal. I have no idea about it! What were you speaking?! Mr. Donovan! <laughs> oh my god. Surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast. Okay! What's a Mars Blast? That's a new... that's a new drink. A Mars Blast? Well... Wait, I have to make a big as well, right? Uh... Oh, this a big... Oh, never mind. This is already a big drink. Oops. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. All blended. We got a mask blast! All right, I guess I'll believe your story. What story? I got wasted yesterday to this certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Uh, Mr. Donovan, you said many things. And I would like to inform you that all the things that you said went in one ear and went out the other ear. I don't remember. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> what did I tell you? They wanted unreasonable stuff and they felt like they had more power than you. Blah, 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 blah. That... Oh my... Oh my... Oh my... Okay. What? Let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Bruh. Excuse me? <laughs> if you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. Okay, because Mr. Donovan is always correct. Okay. 
We live in a society! PR is the first and only word in anything. He can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eye. I mean... Make one mistake and it's over. You're suddenly a criminal. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid they ever catch something you said out of context. This is all quite relatable. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article. About cougars in near five forests. Bruh. Bruh. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about. Bruh. Bruh. It's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of a rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Interesting. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend someone. That's... Yeah, I mean... That's... That's... That's life. Some take it graciously. Many just love feeling insulted. Damn. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. Wow. Hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. Bruh. Ah, I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Wow. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. <laughs> Yo. This is a nice line. Let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is... Kind of... Yeah, true. Look at the time when you get back to work soon. Wait a sec, what time is it? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. Okay. The fact that we're posting it after she finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Why? What, what happened? What happened? Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns was supposed to do it, but she just didn't. Can I guess this intern's name is Kimberly Levette? Negotiating. Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster her face all over the front page. For, uh, negotiations. <laughs> One last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. I wonder if alcohol would help too. Okay. Flavor. Bitter. A gut punch drink? Um, uh, name actually describes what you feel while drinking it. Okay. A gut puncher! Small twist on the pile driver, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning and less on the throat burning. Ooh. I think... I think... That Mr. Donovan needs a little, just a little, just a little touch, a little touch, a little touch, just a little touch. Here you go. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor people that took the heat today. That kid. You can't remember anyone's names! Bruh, Donovan! The kid's always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone. But he's annoying enough to make me remember him. Is this like tough love? It's like, oh, you know, he's so annoying, but secretly I want to mentor him. Oh, never mind. It's like that. Oh, I see. I left him to fend off a pack of crazy people. Oh my god. You sound so considerate right now. I'm no saint kid, but I'm man. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> what? I'm not old enough for this conversation. What if it's your dad? Oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we can get him tickets to the show or something. I've seen.
seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column. Oh, more. You are so nice. Yes, Mr. Donovan, you are so nice. I'm out of here. Bye, Mr. Donovan! Hey, he's not that bad. He's not that bad. I thought it was bad, huh? I need to blow my nose. Please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. Tiring. Hey, Jill! I think I have a problem. What's up, Dana? She can't take the helmet off. I can't take the helmet off! <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Dana! Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper... Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. Oh my god! Yes! Witnessed. Don't scare me like that! I don't think he can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help. I'll give her a call. Maybe you can just call Say. Give the helmet back. Let's see Will's her number. Oh, here it is! I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend. More importantly, will Chief be fine? He'll be fine. You can always trust the boss. Let's hope you're right. Hey, honey. Can you see me? Who's this? Ah, oh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Ooh. Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who's Dorothy? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. Wait, what? What's going on? I'll be back in a bit. What? What? She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. What? Care to explain? Have you seen those pixel videos of someone... No. No. But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only things you see, and the other person is... No. What? Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible... What? We can only see a few articles of clothing. What? I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that, but my contact misunderstood my request. Why do you look so calm while saying this? I asked him to bring me something that'll make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Oh. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer? You have a point. Oh well. I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. What's a nano camo? No, I've never heard of nano camo. Military technology that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module for them and change the color of clothes, walls, or tables. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? Oh. Oh. I'm so confused about this conversation. If you move, you'd be an eerie surrounding colored blob. Wow, that's very smexy. Yes. It might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Okie dokie. Simple enough. Piano woman. 
This is also a big drink. Oh my god. This is a big drink! Woo! Pretty! One piano woman. Thanks! I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good! She feels good, guys! She feels good! That's nice. How's this for a bonus payment? <gasps> The ticket from Friday! Hold on a second. I can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. What? Why did your eyes... What? What's, what's happening? You know... If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. I'm good. You still need to pay if you want to get... No I'm good. I'm good. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. <laughs> Do you pay him to... Finish that sentence and I'll make you truly become invisible. Dorothy? Finish that sentence and I will bonk you so hard you will turn invisible. John? Didn't see you there. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff. <laughs> was it a girl? What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. What did he do? Dorothy is unsay so. Don't let this face... Don't let this face deceive you. Not say so. Does your boss know about it? She said I'm not the one to judge. Judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. Not really that necessary. And it's a pain to think about. True. Oh yeah. About your boss. Why was she wearing a helmet? She stole a customer's helmet. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. Yeah. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use the glass. Okay, Dorothy. Okay. A bit early for those stories. Okay. Okay. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. But you usually come before you start. Aw. Did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. What do you work at? I don't know if I should ask. It was weird, but not like kinky weird. Okay. I'm already scared. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be. Ingram! Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. So weird. This is so weird. This is so weird. One day a year for three years. He also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birthday. Does he have a daughter or not? Oh, she died for you. Oh. Oh. I seem to attract that kind of a people for some reason. What kind of people? Give me a moon blast, would you? I'm so confused. Ingram? Oh, that's kind of sad. Hold on. That's kind of sad. Ingram? Oh. Oh, Ingram. He was pretending to be a tough guy. This is sad. Oh. Oh.
There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. No, that's not what I wanted to ask you. Do all DFC-72S look like kids? What? Out of factory we look like... Oh, she's a machine! Our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Every fresh DFC looks 10 to 13. Makes it easier to upgrade. What? Upgrade alters its bodies to something older. Oh! Will you go through with it? She's a rarity! You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me half the time, it's not because I'm me. Okay. 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 Nope. Okay. Uh. Uh, 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 uh. Whoa! Who's this? Good evening, Jew. Welcome to. Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Don't call me Jules! Yes! Call me Jules and I'll make sure every time you sit you hear the cling of your shaker. What how why does she why does she not like her name? <gasps> Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day and I'm in a good mood. I suppose it's a bit impolite for me to reject you. What's going on? Super chat, what's going on? Honey, I have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. I'm so confused. Okay, one big... Oh, well, there's two slots! Press next after making the first mix to make the second drink. Make both before serving. Huh? One big sunshine cloud. Okay. Um. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <gasps> Is that big enough? All right. Is that big enough? All right. And then what was it? A gut punch. One, two, three, four, five. Here and here. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you, Jill. It's my job. May I ask you something? A private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to... What? No, 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 no. Is it true that the line leaves tracking nanomachines in the other person after... Oh my god.
I'm just a bartender. I'm just a bartender. I'm just... I'm just a bartender. Okay, now Dorothy's asking Jamie something. Guys, I just... Guys, I... J what are your thoughts on this conversation, babe? How much of you still organic? What do you mean? Oh, is he like half machine? Look, I just... I don't understand. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Alright. Yeah, Dorothy's working. I can't get in... You know, I... I just... Okay. Honey, I'm going to leave you. Okay, bye, Dorothy. Thank you. Please. The... 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 The not say so has left the building. Thank you. Please come again. Oh! What's up, Jamie? That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does. It's kind of hard not to root for... I'm not rooting for her. Are you rooting for her? She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, which becomes a problem. Bye, Gil. Bye, John. Alright, I'm gonna go take my... Gil, I need your girly hands for a second! Oh my god. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Okay. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. No, Jamie, you chill. You're pretty much the most normal client I've seen over the last two days. Um, you're no problem, Jill. You usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? Okie dokie. Mars Blast. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. There's another. Oh, Mercury. Oh. A Mars Blast? Okay. Ugh. Okay, all blended. Okay. Da, 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 da. Jamie's so cool. He seems very normal. Here you go. Bitter and mind-numbing. Just like war. What? Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. You're so inspiring. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so... Pro He's a professional assassin? Where did that come from? What I've often wondered about is how he can be so calm. Aren't you worried about police? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss about easing my mind about other folks. Dana? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. Is Dana that cool? <gasps> she could take care of things if I went hate. Oh my. D Dana? Don't mind that. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. <gasps> Just a rumor though. Damn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it was left a mystery. What if she broke it just like, you know, I don't know, falling off the toilet. That's like a really stupid reason. But because she is Giga Chad, everyone just made up these random rumors about how she lost her arm. Which leads me to believe she might have started some of the rumors herself. <gasps> They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Oh my god. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take a break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, I'm going on break. Amazing. Oh. It's now safe to keep playing. Very good. Okay. Boss should clean the kitchen bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Jukebox. Okay, let's switch some of these out. Um... I don't know. 
would you switch it up a bit? Because I feel like... What's this one? Um, They're all such good songs though. Okay. You can take a couple minutes more, you know. Hey, Dina. I need to blow my nose. Hold on. Out the release button was jammed with ashes. Why was it jammed with ashes? What? Whoever owns the helmet made sure to use it to the point of avoiding the warranty. That sounds like something Say would do. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure! Now, take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. Dana, you are so cool. Can I be your friend? Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. <gasps> Who are you? Um... Good evening. What kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of... afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta. Kinda. Yeah? Well, this is a bar. A bar? <laughs> nice, nice! What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. <gasps> Wait! I bought the tea! 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 <laughs> That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Uh, a bitter but not too bitter? <gasps> Sorry if that's too a little confusing. Something bitter but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. <gasps> Where do I put it? <gasps> Here you go. Hey, I like this one. But didn't you say you didn't have tea? Oh, well, it's not freshly made tea or anything. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? <laughs> I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm... Kira... Mickey! Oh my god, it's Mickey! She's like a blend of Iris and Suisei Senpai. <laughs> Oh, should I call you Miss Mickey or Miss Kira? Uh, no, you're not getting it. I'm just... Kira. Mickey! Oh my god. I love how the Kira is in, um... Little... Uh, bruh. Um... Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira and you say Mickey, okay? <laughs> Imagine doing this routine with a bartender. Kira! M Mickey! <laughs> No, no, no! Put more spirit into it! <gasps> Kira! Mickey! <laughs> Almost there! <gasps> Kira! Mickey! Kira! Mickey! Kira! Mickey! Kira! How long are we gonna do this for? Mickey! Oh my god, everyone's joining! <laughs> That's it! Are you feeling it? Kira! Mickey! What is going on? Kira! Mickey! Kira! Mickey! And don't you ever forget it. What the hell am I doing out here? Um, where were we, Jamie? Uh, right. I was t What? Wow. Is this the power of an idol? Should I take some lessons? Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. A concert? Wait. 
You're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight. I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. Oh, my nose. What are you doing all the way down here? <gasps> uh, well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. And my producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. That's not very idol-like. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place. Wow, isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. Bruh. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. Not a huddle. How big is the concert? We've planned for a bit over... A hundred thousand people! Sold out fast. Bruh. Sounds like something you would do. Why do you have no trust in me? You think I would leave right before, before I have a concert? No. The hay fever is bad today. Hold on. <gasps> uh, you could sell at a hundred k then. No, I couldn't. That's like that's like that's like senpai level power. I don't have that kind of power. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal. And that's nice. Over a thousand K is not that many. What exactly is? Uh, hold on, then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Mickey, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. No, enough. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Okay. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? As in alcohol free? No, I meant soft as in soft. That's not helping. Uh, let's see what I can get you. So it's not alcohol... F okay, soft. What does soft mean? A fluffy dream? Soft. A blue fairy. Fluffy is soft. What else is it? Sunshine cloud. Bitter, girly, and soft. Tastes like old chocolate milk. Or oh, what does the other one taste like? A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety and you'll be sleeping soundly. She has a concert. We can't do that. No. No, 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 no. Sparkle star. Ooh. Sweet, girly, happy. Okay, never mind. Uh, um, so it's either... One of these will make all your teeth turn blue. Fluffy dream it is. What can I say? She has a concert bay. And I'm just trying to get her height! <laughs> Try this. Yeah, this will do. Thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical while mixing drinks? Huh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lightning drinks on a fire, that kind of stuff. Uh, when I was in college, I tried doing it at a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. That sounds like a shitty bartender. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. You're right! Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Why? Do you want me to sign it? 
sure, I guess. <laughs> no guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah. Do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Is she just, like, offering people her signature? Bruh. <laughs> Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill. For Jill. Never lose your star. From Kira. Mickey. That's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? <gasps> well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And there's my fan club. What's the difference? The fan club... The, the fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Oh my god. <gasps> they're also pretty organized. They'd make pretty good soldiers. The others... The stalkers are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing that must be bothersome though. Actually, they're not that bad. What? Stalkers are nice when you get you... Uh... 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 I don't agree with this sentence, but okay. <laughs> I remember once protected me from getting mugged. Oh. There's another that breaks into my house every once a week to make me break. Uh... 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 I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they found it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear unit. Uh, ah! No, Jill, it's not the same. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should be have, should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? <laughs> it's a part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, and the weather forecast is accurate... The sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. Bruh! Talk about being extra. That's something I would do. Plan the weather, and have that as a part of all of my concerts. Bruh. I'd be depressed if they ask for your love as a drug, as an encore though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their ticket was worth the ridiculous price, you know. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something? Only to find out you shouldn't have bothered. <gasps> ah. You bought expensive coffee! <laughs> it tasted like filthy water with cream. Bruh. You did not just... I mean... Bruh. Speaking of which... Do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Something to sober up. Okay, so... No alcohol? Sunshine Cloud! I mean... Sunshine Stone, Sunshine... Grizzly Temple, what's this? Sunshine Cloud is perfect. Okay, for once, we're not gonna add anything. Try this. <laughs> yeah, this works. <gasps> How is it? <laughs> it could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. You wanted something bitter. Bruh. 
Really nice, thanks. Hey, Jill. Have you ever lost your identity? Bruh. No, I mean, your ident- Whoa, okay, her face changed. Uh-oh. Forgotten who you are. Uh-oh. No, no, not really. <laughs> I did. Oh my god. Hiramiki's just an artist name. At first, it was hard for me to play the part, you know. But I gained so much satisfaction from the concerts that I decided to invest myself. And I overdid it. Uh-oh. I became so invested in the character, I forgot who I was. Uh-oh. Who was I before I became Kiramiki? What did I like? Where does Kiramiki end and I begin? I just don't know anymore. That sounds rough. The fact that I know I'm performing a noble duty. You have to deal with many stressful things in everyday life. Work, debt, sickness, insecurity, the black slime that comes out of the sewers every full mo What? You don't know what will await you every morning. You don't know if you'll make it back to bed that night. When measured, the cons of life outweigh the pros. People need something to cling to. And for many, I'm that thing. I need to blow my nose. I'm sorry. Mickey, I... I'm sorry to interrupt your monologue, but give me like five seconds. I'll be right back. During my concerts, they stop being themselves for four hours. They're not a nurse, an office worker, or a store clerk. For those four hours, they're just part of this mess that goes to see an idol. No religion, gender, nor social class divides them. They're all at the same level. When not in concert, I try to give them songs that would cheer them up, that will make their lives worth living. When I see people call my name, I know they're thanking me. Thanking me for that single moment where they can be happy. Jesus, oh my god. What I love about the stadium, I'm down below when they're up high. If forgetting who I was before means that I can protect those smiles, so be she is a true idol. Bruh. She is a true idol. I'll make sure I'll make that sacrifice as many times as needed. <gasps> Because I live for them! Because I know I help them. I'm the star that always shines in the dark night- Oh no, she's reciting her intro- Oh my god. I am the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I am the northern light that will show you your dreams. I am kill- Oh, she's drunk. And don't you ever forget that- Oh, she's drunk. <laughs> Fan club! To me! We ride to the stadium. I suddenly feel the urge to ditch my shift and follow. No, Jill! You think she's telling the truth? Give me a second. According to this article, her real name is Michelle Kingston, deployed about two years ago. She did a few variety shows with the jazz band, but went solo afterwards. What? She was drunk, and she was a very peculiar drunk. Interesting. Talk about a motivational performer. Damn. Boss, we're done! You feel like going to that girls' concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets. Wait, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my... Monica during my wrestling days? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam fight. She was a wrestler! Oh my god. Any reason for being red? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. I remember. I should take you to a wrestling match. Maybe you'll like it. Oh my god. In any case, Gil's cleaning the glasses. I'll leave today. Bye-bye! And boss? 
Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Woo! Grab a snack on the way home. It's on me. I'm getting bonus after bonus after bonus. Let's freaking go. <gasps> Amazing. Okay. Whoa. <gasps> Mickey concert. Okay, Alice Rabbit Thread. Oh my god. Okay. Nothing important. What's on with the news? <gasps> Kid Mickey is the best pop star in history! By Donovan Do Bruh. Donovan is now a simp. Donovan is now a simp! Welcome my new Robocop overlord. Who's Robocop? Robocop senpai! What's happening? Interview. Who is this? Gloria Light? Excuse me? Hello? Content blocked in your region. Is there anything like... Express VP? I'm kidding. <laughs> Neo San Francisco rocked by powerful earthquake. Oh no. Okay, there was an earthquake. Okay. Let me just say. Struggles, you still came to see me. Oh my gosh, she has a blog. See you soon, my darlings. Is that what she calls her fan base? <gasps> Dome concert. Uh. 
Ahem. Okay. He's performing songs. Alright, alright. Don't wait for me outside the stadium. <gasps> okay. What does Mickey do to relax? Sitting on rooftops. <gasps> tea cocktails? Mixing tea with vodka, rum, and gin, lime. Ooh. Ah, <gasps> da da da. Let's go to the shop! What can I buy? <gasps> My Mickey Nickel. A PC! Bruh. A magazine. <gasps> Has a download code for your love is a dr <gasps> A new song! How to get a new song! In a banner? Okay. Where's the Mickey... Mickey, Mickey poster? Mickey. <gasps> Mickey banner! Oh my god. Okay, I want to listen to her song. Let's go to work. Okie dokie. Hi there. <gasps> Who's this? Who's this? <gasps> Alma? Marcello. I stumbled across her on my way and asked her if she wanted to tag along. There's Alma! She's cool. Where's the bus? She didn't put on the helmet again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Okay. What's up, Alma? Make yourself comfortable while I prepare. <gasps> okay, 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 okay! Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something that make me say. Back in instruction. <laughs> I went to school that made us stand with our hands on our backs when someone came in. Oh my god. Habit didn't rub up until high school. A glass with a signature. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it! I'm gonna make money. So I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That's a cute Mickey girl came here yesterday before a concert. Oh, I see your name here. You didn't seem very surprised. <laughs> I like B Link more actually. <gasps> She's not a simp. She's not a simp. I repeat, Elmer is not a simp. Seems like you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. <gasps> Who's Damien? I see. Do you want a drink? You don't seem very surprised. Alma, we've known each other for what? A few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships went further than a week or two. Oh my god. She's a player! You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. Yikes. It's more like the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped, but yikes. You could pretend to be more interested, you know. <laughs> Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Oh my god. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame of what? For all those pictures you have of your boss. The ones feeling your phone's mirror. Hey! Dana is cool. Dana is best girl. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Shut up! What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. <gasps> it's Alice Rabbit! Oh my god. Oh, I really like this one of her sleeping in an office. I think I'll copy it. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Hey, can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? Oh my god. It's a hacker woman! Um, okay. All on the rocks and mixed. Okay. Here you go. Who gives these drinks their silly names? Usually the one who registers it. 
some people have quite the silly sense of humor. Like that girl who keeps laughing over this particular drink's name. What? Who's Damien again? Who's Damien? The one with the nice car. Is that how you remember your partners? It's just, hey. It's that one with the nice suit. It's that one with the nice car. He's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. I see. Alma, you are... I see. What was wrong with him? Turns out he was a lava. What does that mean? A live action rope. Oh my god. Sounds more like the nickname of some heavy-handed rider. Or a military organization. Bruh. What did he roleplay as? Have you ever heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Nope. Those events where people hardly drink, stink, roll in mud, and... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. And you see, that's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you've had something formal, but most of the time you're still getting to know the person. Think about it. Have you ended your long longest lasting relations for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word wherever. I'm still sorely disappointed. Yo, Alma got standard. At least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? <gasps> getting caught out. Getting caught out! Last time. What? Your cat doesn't count. Oh. A year ago. <gasps> We're learning about Jill! I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed... Oh. Oh my god. Hey. Hey. People have different needs and priorities. Don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow. Mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head on their chest. Listening to them breathe as they pat your head. Oh, well, that's wholesome. Dozing off knowing they're there watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make you to shut up and drink? Oh my god. I'll have you know that my uncle taught me ventriloquism when I was 12. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making less tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Bruh. A weird drink? Something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Private drinks! <gasps> okay. What's a grizzly temple? A boom light? Unnecessarily brown? Bruh. What should we make? A zen stars Four of each ingredient. Oh my god. She's getting zen starred. Okay. This will taste disgusting. Oh my god. Here you go. It's a promotional drink made to commemorate a movie. Re read, they left at the chance to sell drinks that would be unmarketable otherwise. Bruh. You know, your orders are weird today. Usually the first thing you ask for is a brantini, and then something like a cobalt velvet. <gasps> She's not herself today. Is it because she broke up with Damien? Something tells me part of the reason you love Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Speaking of routine. As a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice rap a rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. <laughs> there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember it was pretty vandalism. Everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous identity. Oh. Wait, so Alice Rabbit's not just one person? <gasps> Bruh. It's not just her. <gasps> That's what happens when the idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. 
untouchable entity watching from the shadows. So you don't think a person really exists? I don't know and don't care. That sounds like someone who knows and is trying to cover it up. Place your bets, everyone. Alma is Alice Rabbit. They even have the same first letter. Interesting. It's not taking into account all the copycats and pranks using the name. Alice Rabbit is the thing that exists, but it's also really moneyed overall. She's so disinterested. Look at that. But I can click on... Oh, never mind. Okay, something else that worries me. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They still trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks or consequences. Oh my god. Imagine if a couple of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. <gasps> oh, not a hold on. I see, I see. There's a more pressing matter at hand. What is that? You've been delaying my invitations for hanging out. Oh my god, I've been ghosting Alma. Oh no. Do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? Yes. Oh, no. At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you just can't say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night, bruh. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. Whoa! For a second, no. I refuse. Any particular reason you keep turning down my invitation? Um, I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. Wow. That's early morning. 10 a.m. is early morning. Bruh. You are hopeless. Why do you sound like Mama Rat? Like Mama Rat trying to get me out of bed. In the morning, and I'm like, it's too early, and she's like, bruh, it's like 11, it's like afternoon already. I'm like, no, it's still a.m. I'm gonna need another drink here, a big brandini. Okay, big brandini coming right up. That's really, that's really big, though. Oh my god. Brantini. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. It was originally supposed to replicate Martini. Oh. So they changed the name due to copyright? Bruh. Don't you worry about what people you work for might be doing with the information you provide? Not really. Do you worry about what happens when people leave this place drunk? Not really. Oh. Not a hot dog. Some say my beauty is intoxicating, but that's besides the point. Bruh. Wonder what she does as a hacker. Does she get hired just to hack things? Once you understand what precautions to take, it's no problem. I've always found my job fun. However, most of my contracts are con oh, consultancy-based gigs. Not at all. Oh, I see. Do you meet with your client? I don't. It's always from behind as many filters as I can manage. Oh my god. I remember I had once did a job where I had a couple of kids relaying letters. Relaying letters? What? Because that way I lose a lot less time. I don't have to deal with clients hitting on me or pestering me after the job's done. <gasps> I see. I also don't have to lose time pr proving my worth because big boobs equals small brains or some shit like that. I mean, protecting my identity is one of the reasons, but... The few times I've shown myself... Ah... They weren't even risky or dangerous jobs. 
I don't remember, but I need to... I don't know, but I need to show up as a disheveled nerd. Oh my god. Naruhodo. Big booba. Big booba. So many Alice Rabbit headlines have been made... Made me wonder about the hacking business. She's a white hat hacker. She purposely breaks systems to find and report their faults and how to fix them. Naruhodo. She's a queen. Queen Alma. Hello, sugar. I think we have a new character. Ow! Hello, Mr. Never mind. It's just good old Donovan. Just like my pop used to say, never touch. Uh... Did he hit on Alma? Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Do you normally greet people that way? Okay. Okay. But don't worry, you're safe. You're flatter than the field at my... I'm gonna make you so drunk. I'm gonna give you alcohol poisoning. You shouldn't provoke the one serving you drinks or food. Exactly. Today, I'm making this quick. Gotta tend to business. Have the usual. I can't even... I can't even hijack this one. Oh, what? Oh, whoops. See, I'm so mad I made the drink wrong. The usual. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Get out. The girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple weeks. So I'm working to clinch an exclusive interview. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I've had to blackmail the editors of other outlets, but in the end, it's the results that matter. That other? Wait, what? Blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find when you get the right people drunk. Like how I'm getting you drunk. Hey, the signature on my glass. Oh, yeah. Can you please be less vulgar? This is an adult bar. Thank you very much. She came yesterday before the concert. Anything juicy come out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No! Come on, there has to be something. She's a true idol. Her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Yeah, Donovan! Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here, anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious. She said nothing. Say, how many of your interns are women, Mr. Donovan? All of my interns are women, kid. Every single one of them. It's a pack of hungry, desperate people. Why only women? Did you ever watch The Race for Hope? No, because I won that race. <laughs> okay, back to being angry. A movie about a journalist looking for clues regarding a murder? Oh my god. That tacky movie had everything. Romance, action, a dog with sunglasses. Okay. Also sold this weird fantastical image of what journalism is. Okay. I'm guessing a lot of girls saw it in high school and wanted to become journalists. Okay, I'm not interested. My first brother-in-law was a doctor. Okay. He said after a couple years... A couple years after Emergency Heart, all of his interns were women because of the movie? Oh. Is this why you don't let brats that barely understand what responsibilities are pick a career? Uh, do you perhaps know a girl named Kimberly La Valette? 
He doesn't know. He couldn't believe. Any interesting preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you won't share your scoop on the singer? Well, I'll find out tomorrow anyway, Donovan. Bruh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you ever heard of the group The Harbing Bringer Harbingers? No. They're a group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. Oh my god. I read the manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece. Okay. Okay. I'm not interested. Can you please leave? I'm still upset you called me flatter than a field. How dare you? They're releasing receipts tomorrow? Okay. Give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Oh, it's a new drink. A bleeding Jane. Uh. Okay. A bleeding Jane? Bloody Mary. Nah, the huddle. Here you go. Simple enough for you, I guess. So, this is Donna Zane's bar. Is it true? Do you know my boss? Never thought I'd hear about the undefeated of the West. <gasps> I'm interested. Tell me more about Dana. More so after the incident with the bears. Where is she? <gasps> bears? What happened? Six years ago. The cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced ten enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards. <gasps> I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know if she lost her arm there? Maybe she had a prosthetic then too. <gasps> I heard someone there suggest that she lost it after throwing a baseball... Throwing a baseball out of some stadium? Threw it so hard her arm fell off. Oh my god. That's a rumor. That has to be a rumor. I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning... Thank her for winning me my second yacht. Betting on her was the right... Can someone give me answers? I need to know more about Dana! I'm on break? Okay. How does Dana keep getting cooler and cooler? I don't know. I don't know. The jukebox. Okay. I think we're good. Boss is back! Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Is everything okay? As alright as it can be, considering that we're closing event. No, we're making so much money though! Brian says that we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything being put in order. What? I was also talking to him about you. What about me? Yeah, I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure you don't spend too much time without a job. <gasps> Dana! If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. <gasps> Dana! Hey, but helps. Brian might be the angriest of us all. And they want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches. <gasps> Dana! What about Gil? He's the one that worries me the most. He's kind of working using the credentials of another guy that was working here. What? So Gil is not his real name! The one who bought a levitation potion and threw him... Oh my god. The levitation potion story. He has weird euphemisms, boss. I find it hard to believe that Gil will find a job after all of this. Who is Gil? I have an idea of... I... An idea? What? I have an idea of who he is. But I'm still putting pieces together. <gasps> Dana's figuring it out. Back to work. Imminent closure is no excuse to slack off. Yes, ma'am! Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? Oh. <gasps> it's... 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 It's Gloria! Um, excuse... Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? Cat ears! She got cat ears! Welcome to Valhalla. God, what is they planning now? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protesting. 
Can you get me that? Oh, wasn't it, um... Wasn't it the... 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 the, the piano woman? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it was piano woman, right? Okay. Who is this? Here you go. Very nice, thanks a lot. I love how the ears flap. Do you know Say? I'm Stella Hoshi. <gasps> Stella, Stella. <gasps> Stella, Stella. Yeah, no, she's been here before, yes? I'm glad you know her. She left her helmet! Can you take her helmet? Her helmet's been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Oh my god. Valet, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it at least. <gasps> Stella, Stella. Says as much of a sociable girl as she's a total klutz. That's the word I was looking for. She's a klutz. At least when she's not being serious. She's very competent when she puts her mind to it. That hold on. Did she recommend you this place? We're meeting here today. <gasps> oh. Say, is that Kira Mickey's autograph on that glass? Nice. Yes, it is. How'd you get it? She stopped by here yesterday just before the concert. Really? Is Stella a Mickey fan? Oh, uh, I'm... <gasps> She's blushing! Oh my god, so cute. She did? Are you a fan? Can I see it? Sure. Yep, the star-like signature is hers. So your name's Jill then? Yes. Ain't this nice? Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you'll feel with so much energy and happiness. <gasps> well, let me just quickly, um, switch the... I heard she even opened with a new version of Shine Spark. I'm so vexed I couldn't purchase a ticket for this one. <gasps> I heard a leak from the event. It felt more hot-blooded. Damn. Excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. <gasps> Say he's helping with a car crash. Oh, no. Will you wait for her? In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in the memory of its creator's dearest friend. All right. Um, that is a piano man. Piano man, I think. Dear friend. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes. Exactly. She likes pianos. Can I ask you something personal? If it isn't about my eye... No, it's not. I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat... She's called a cat boomer? She's called a cat boomer? Bruh. It's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disease or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine rejection. So it had to be done, otherwise I would have died. Oh no! I'm a bit on the weaker side. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry, Stella. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I've read a bit more than a recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of can be. I am Jill. Jill is me. Asahi Sobatorai! But their colors, the stories, the way you need to keep them stored, the designs. It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Do you collect them or anything like that? Oh, we start a collection? Ooh! <gasps> Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? I like Stella. She's my new favorite character. She's a social drinker, unless it's with someone I don't tend to drink much. 
なるほど。サイジェル。You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. I got caught in rush hour traffic. Walking might be faster. なるほど。Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs, and I climbed down. What? I took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put safety first. Safety? No, no. Flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how to avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I like a drink that was. You're at it again? Your cryptic order is leaving us with weird stuff. Hey! No! I got you! Just let. Just leave it to me. Makasero! What do you want? What is something normal? Two fringe weavers. You have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. Wait, what? Half a glass for each? Wait, I don't understand. Two fringe weavers? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a lot of that's that's a lot of Holy moly. This one's for you, and this one's for me. Like, I don't understand how this brain works up here. Okay. Here's where I left my helmet! Yeah, you need to be more careful, say. Those spares should be saved for when the ones you're using breaks. Not when you lose them. The helmets cost money, you know. Yeah, listen to Stella! She knows! Speaking of money, you're still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep, you worried? Um, I'd be lying if I say I wasn't. Don't be, I'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. What happened at the bank? They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. <gasps> it's the it's the Alice Rabbit thing! But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. Be careful, say! As if fear mongering wasn't enough, the people have also started spreading baseless rumors. <gasps> it's the Harbingers! Is the Harbingers or is the Alice Rabbit? I don't know. Everyone's on edge. Yeah, bye. I know you're worried, but I have to go. It's orders from higher up. Tell me something. If somebody came off me, do you think they'd stand a chance? I mean, you don't particularly look like a fighting type. You're quite strong, but... I'll take something to protect myself. Would that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'm the best friend! Aww. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way you can vent out your frustration. Oh, so cute! Friendship. Friendship. Bye, Stella! She's such a worry what? I mean, she cares about you, say? Why does my helmet smell like bacon? Um... You know something's absorbed the smell of what's nearby? Must have grabbed it from one of our ingredients. Do you believe all that stuff about the tension's growing? Ooh... To tell you the truth, I'm a little bit worried. Oh no. Even in my division, there's some shady business going on, but I don't want to investigate too deeply. Damn. Working with human traffickers or drug dealers. Oh my god. <gasps> Stella always says the white knights are glorified more secure. Bruh. Zaibatsu? Oh wow. Something about the associate's fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. <gasps> Sounds plausible. It kind of worries me, though, because I really like my job. No, say! 
It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. You're too say-so for your own good. I just want to do my job without the worry of politics. Bruh. <gasps> Bruh. What are you going to do with the bank tomorrow? Colonel needed to relay some information to the manager. And that was picked because he trusted me. Aww. He said, You're such a simpleton that you'd never give the wrong message. But it's his intention that counts. I don't think he was being nice, say. Um, say, I don't I really don't think he was being nice, but okay. Finally, the Dorothy has come back to my Not Dorothy! No! Dorothy! Dorothy, um, not please no Dorothy. <laughs> You make it sound like you have a full house. Uh, I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. <gasps> uh, grab something before they start grabbing me. Oh, Dorothy! Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? Say! No, we must protect Say! Say! The most say so, most say so. Please! Protect yourself! Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more. What are you having? A blue fairy? One for each. No, 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 no. We must pr we must pr we must We must protect I'm sorry, say. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Two fairies. Hey, it's pretty good. It's blue like your hair. Yeah. What's your name, sweetie? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. We must protect. Oh, no. Uh oh. Say, say. <gasps> say, say. Oh, she's drunk already. Say, why did you just buy me a drink? Oh, no. Protect the blue fairy. I just thought you were as cute as a button and I wanted to invite you to join. No! You must be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. What do you mean? Oh my god. This girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the type, you're the what you see is what you get type. That look on your face is one that simply sees no point in lying. Yeah, because she's say so, unlike you! Oh my god. You're so married to your job that... Oh my god. Smex is too far down your priority list to notice this exists. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. You say she's the first one, but what about Deal giving you a ticket the other day? You seem very perceptive, Dorothy, but I'm not too far behind. I can tell your body is heavily modded with things you shouldn't even have. <gasps> your tongue has a DNA scanner! Your skin is coated with anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of premium extra flexibility. <gasps> and the most important thing your head... Oh my god. I don't know how modded your body is under your clothes. The tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD113 of Realtor Industries, a model designed to shoot bullets from your fingertips! Yo, Dorothy. Clause 6 of Article 17 in Augmentations and Modifications. <gasps> Any humo humanoid or sapient creature under civil designation that has upgraded to hold firearms of plus 3 grade or high will be commissioned or disarmament or sent to dangerous. She's a killing machine! I'm not in law enforcement. I just do a rescue. I'm not on duty right now. <gasps> Why go through with that upgrade? The girl's gonna take care of herself. I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly. 
I see. Oh my god. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bit bigger to make the cannon spin. You could get a smaller mod that changes them into disposable tips. <gasps> Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I see. I gotta go. And another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs once, it's self-defense. Anything more is a... Say is... I'm gonna give Say so much alcohol from now on. She's so much cool! Oh my god, Dorothy's crying. I thought she was gonna take me away. It's okay! They would put my mind on a vacuum cleaner for three years! That's what happens when you underestimate people, Jill. Although I'm tempted to ask about what? DNA reading tongue? It vibrates! Extra flexible joints? I don't want to ask. Anti radiation coating? Oh my god. Uh Okay. 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 Can you please leave now, Dorothy? I need to be I need a say so cleanser. What can you say about me then? Oh, okay. Yeah, read me. You're very 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 me shit and now it's you excuse me i'm doing fine thank you very much it's not the act itself but rather that your partners can't seem to satisfy you on it bruh hey there's an even deeper frustration something happened that's blocking you maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings maybe you were hurt in the past Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh, did I actually hit the nail? I was making this stuff on the fly. Hmm. I'm gonna... You are no longer welcome in my bar. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky, lucky. Aren't you late or something? Yeah! If you let me satisfy you... No! Get out! Don't call me honey. Get out! Artificial intelligence has come rather far. One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up! Yes! Yeah, shut up, f boy! <gasps> Dana! Hi, Dana! Hi, Dana! Hi, Dana! Everything done? Yeah. This might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to the bar? <laughs> when you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason, I've been hung up on it since this morning, and I just realized why. The facade that welcomed me back then was Gil trying to pull your hand out of a jar. Oh, yeah, that what? Please explain. I can't remember what exactly happened, but something fell inside, and I tried to retrieve it. I kind of put my hand in it, and it got stuck. It was a friend's jar, too, so I couldn't just break it. How did you get my hand out of that jar? A straw and some butter. What? That brings me to the random thought. That incident, the helmet yesterday, and the many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Why do you get stuck in so many different things, boss? She tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck? <gasps> I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. What was the TV? The assembly instructions for that should have labeled their Z and S better. She avoided the question. She's getting stuck. Why is she always stuck? Oh my god. I'm rich! <gasps> Charge to your account. Yay! Jill subscription got renewed. She has no problem focusing at work at all. Woohoo! Amazing. Okay, 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 okay. What's happened? <gasps> Milky concert. Milky? What? Mickey concert, sorry. Uh... Do we read this already? Maybe not. Alistair. <gasps> the 
Except for 17. What day is it now? <laughs> you wouldn't believe this shocking Kiramiki secret. Kimberly! <gasps> Disgusting. Alice Rabbit might be a Kiramiki fan. Bruh. I'm getting tired of your shit, Miss Smithy. <gasps> Bruh. Just getting hacked. Yo, even the news is getting hacked. What's up, Kimberly? Prime is up 5% this month. Oh no. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Let me just save. Day 4. How many days are in this game? Oh my god. Can I buy something? A poster! It's a game poster. Uh, a paper lantern? There's a total of three weeks, I think. What? Oh my... 19 days? Bro, I haven't even scratched the surface yet. I'm on day four. Bruh. 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 <gasps> bruh. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Damn. Am I actually? Sure? I was gonna leave it here because I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go in a bit. But I also want to read super chats. Um, there's gonna be many parts of this game. We can be like, it can be like a, like a, like a, like a, like a, like a nice little playthrough. But I think we got the game started. It gets really interesting later on. It's already interesting. guys for coming let me just did i save i did save yeah well i'm to day four. Oh my god all right but i might stop here for today i'm gonna go back um because i gotta go soon i gotta go soon um but i want to read super chats as well hold on so thank you so much for stopping by guys um also i just realized because it's a visual novel this requires a lot of reading so i gotta be more Properly equipped with drinks next time. Yeah. Anyway. Let me go back to the. Hello. Um, and then. And close that. Okay. From one banger music to another banger music. A very nice. Thanks for mixing drinks with me and for changing lives with me. Oh. Blah! Um. Hold on. Hold on. I need to find where my super chats are. Anyway, did you guys enjoy the game? Damn, that was really fun. 
<clears throat> play dice two million. Congrats! Wait, the play dice hit two million. <gasps> Bruh! Thank you so much. Oh my god! That's amazing. Really? <gasps> Thank you! Oh my god, I'm gonna tweet and post about it. Thank you guys so much! Oh my god, that's crazy. Two million? Bruh. That's crazy! Thank you! <gasps> Aww. Crazy, okay. Um, Tom Nakjingi, Nomu Kamsamida. Yo, yo, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Adela, thank you so much for the super chat. Watchdogs, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, 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 I know, a lot of people were very excited um, when I announced that I was playing the game and I can understand why. I can only imagine how crazy the plot gets down the line. So, I'm excited to continue. Um, Mr. Bear, thank you so much for the super chat. Karma trying fun. Bruh. Uh, no good gentlemen. No one Thank you so much for the Aka super bum bum bum. Ah, choa, tul, ah, sokul, tamil, pakul, si, tan, igun. I'm sorry, Tom. Oh, May, did you see the fashion show stream? No, I haven't. I saw the drawings on Twitter though. Um, kind of funny. I actually own the outfit on the left that was drawn. I own every piece of it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Ra, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Nine Line, no more Thank you so much for the super chat. The game resonated really deeply with me when I first went through it. And I'm so happy you're playing it, babe. I hope you're ready to mix drinks and change lives. <gasps> I'm ready. I'm ready. Hamesicle, thank you so much for the pink super chat. Boom, boom. Um, Poo Chan, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Jax, thank you so much for the super chat. The dialogue in this game is amazing. Probably one of the best visual novels I've ever played. Meta and funny at the same time. Hope you had a great time with it. Aww! I will have a great time. Thank you so much. I'm so sorry about my allergies today. I don't know why they're so bad. Anyway. Um, because I took allergy medication this morning, but it didn't help. <gasps> Gamer King, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Dennis, thank you so much. Admiral Kogi, thank you so much for the super chat. I admit, bae, I accidentally let some of my junior officers go unsupervised. <gasps> How could you? How could you? Are you so I don't really like alcohol, but I think I'll need it today. <laughs> thank you. Lucky on Cat, thank you so much for the Aka Super Boom Boom Boom. Thanks, bae, for playing one of my favorite visual novels ever. Please take this because I can't see you at Anime Central. Um, I'll say hi to Cranny and Fauna at Anime Boston for you. <gasps> Thank you! Thank you so much! I hope you enjoy Anime Boston. Um, action! Thank you so much for the Aka Super. Brum, brum, brum. Um, Donny B, thank you so much for the Super Chats. Koga, thank you so much for the Super Chats. Musashi Cam, thank you so much. Tammy, thank you so much for the pink super chat. Boom, boom. Thank you so much. Takji! Nanun. Sir Masimion, bra hagu. Tu. 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 So happy to see my favorite rep playing one of my favorite games of all time. Thank you, Baytender. You have made my day a hundred times better. Have a sugar rush on me. Thank you so much. Thank you. Grumble Dog, thank you so much for the super chat. Maverick, thank 
you so much for the super chat. Jack Moody, thank you so much for the Akazobar bum bum bum. We don't want to see you fall. We want to see you succeed and have fun. Live your best life. Thank you so much. <gasps> thank you. Oz Drake, thank you so much for the super chat. In this stream, Bay reads dialogue and stops halfway because of your bit. Yabe! Yabe. Ellie, thank you so much for the super jet. I don't think this game is suitable for a 12 year old rat like you. Challenge accepted. It's alright, we'll get through it. I'm getting edumacated. Um, five tubes of boost, thank you. Dirty MK, thank you so much for the pink super chats. Boom, boom, boom. May I almost feel guilty asking knowing you've had quite a rough past few weeks, but it was my birthday this week. I had a wonderful spa day and an amazing time with family, and I was wondering if I could get a happy birthday from my favorite Hoshi. Of course! Of course! Wait. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Dirty MK. Happy birthday to you. Of course. Happy birthday. I hope you had an amazing day. Thank you so much for the Akasuba. Boom, boom, boom. Xavier, thank you so much for the super chat. Ellie, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Yi Chin, thank you. Jack, thank you again. Ryder, thank you. Eggy. Egg tea? Thank you so much for the super chat. John Kim, thank you so much for the super chat. Taco and Nicole, thank you so much for the super chat. Tiki Tun, thank you so much for the super chat. Nomu Kam Samida. Tower Arcana Crow, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Fisherman465, thank you so much for the super chat. Zilly Julio, thank you so much for the super chat. Russell Bucket, thank you so much for the pink super boom boom. I'll take an order of bog water on the rocks, please. <laughs> um, um, Jing Jing, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, Somber, thank you so much for the super chat. Good game, good stream. Thank you so much. Necrosis Gaming, thank you so much for the super chat. We've done this before in other chats. Time for base chat. USA gang, rise up. Omo, thank you so much. <laughs> um, Bryce, thank you so much for the super chat. <coughs> My voice is going. <gasps> Just so you're gonna be at Anime Central. Are you gonna? Are you excited or nervous? I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um. Shio san, Ellie, thank you so much for the double pinks. Oh my god. Boom, boom, boom. Mickey! Oh, was this during the call? Yeah, thank you. Hold on, I'm gonna get some water real quick. Be right back. Sorry, I'm back. Ah, oh, much better. So I ran out of water a long time ago, but I didn't want I didn't feel like getting up to get more, so it is much better. Ah Okay. Um Ellie, thank you so much for the super chat again. How go? Bam! Yeah, yeah. Yo, we're gonna do that chant. When I say bay, you say bruh. Bay! Bruh. Bay! Bruh. Bay! Bruh. <laughs> That's gonna be my chant. Um, Noxa, thank you so much for the super chat. What is? Thank you so much for the super chat. Donna Zane, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, good work today, but I have to leave midway through. So can you watch over Jill in the meantime? Also, Shami, Tasukaru. No. But thank you. Um, the Red Scare, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, 
Phantasm Guy, thank you so much for the super chat. Rayleigh Gal, thank you so much for the super chat. Oh! Um, Oz Drake, thank you so much for the super chat again. Um, Jimmy Boombox, thank you so much for the Aka Super Boom Boom Boom. Two million play dice hype. Thank you so much! That's crazy. <gasps> That's crazy. Yo yo, thank you so much for the pink super boom boom. Time to mix drinks and change lives. I love this line. Thanks for the fun stream. Congrats on two million views on play dice. Stream play dice again. Stream play dice! Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The Red Scare, thank you so much for the super chat. Um, I heavily recommend listening to the insane Insane Therian? Insane Therian? Lounge cover? What? Oh, your love is a drug. Oh, is it a cover? Did someone cover it? <gasps> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go have a listen. I feel like it'd be a very banger song. Oh, insane in the rain! Look, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to read it like that? If it's not, if it, it needs spaces, guys. There's a reason why there are spaces in between words, okay? You need... You need to have spaces in between... Alright. Thank you so much for the generous Aka Super Bum 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 Play it does! Uh... How do you say... Ebay? No. 200! Oh. Ebek, Ebek, Ebek man, <gasps> I was right. Ebek, Ebek, man. Ah, no mungo. Chukaeyo, no mo kamsami na. Thank you so much. Iragi sa, arigatou gozaimasu. Manji, thank you so much for the super chat. Noxa, thank you so much for the super chat again. Um, Ibale, no mo kamsami na. Congratulations on two million. Thank you. And Watchdogs, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you! Thank you! Um... <gasps> oh. I think that's it. Thank you so much, guys. That was really fun. Um... I will be... Kibale! Namakamsamida! Thank you so much for the Aka Super Boom Boom Boom. Time to drink and tweet. Bye. Sekai de ichiban... Ichiban no... Idol ni na ru ha ha ji. Hmm? Idol uh, ni na ru ha ji. <gasps> oh, ni na ru ha ju! Ichiban idol ni na ru ha ju! Ichiban idol ni na ru ha ju! Yes. I will be best idol. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nomukam Samida. Idol. Yes. Um, so we're playing Vampire Survivors tomorrow, and uh, are we? I think so. <gasps> yeah, actually. Oh, guys, guys, it's 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 Mother's Day on Sunday, <sighs> guys. Um, I got a very uh, I don't. I'm gonna be up early tomorrow because 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 I'm picking up flowers for Mama Rat tomorrow. <laughs> We're picking. I'm pick. No, not we. I'm picking up flowers for Mama Rat tomorrow, and then we got dinner tomorrow night because. I think Ane Rat is busy on Sunday, so we're celebrating a day earlier. But then, but then, but then, but then on on um on Sunday, I'm gonna take Mama Rat out, and uh, we're gonna go on a shopping spree. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take her shopping because Mama Rat needs a new phone, and I I can give her a new phone now, thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. 
Yeah. So, like, I'm giving presents to Mama Rap, but technically it's you guys giving presents to Mama Rap. So, thank you so much. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. So, thank you guys so much. Like, make sure you spend a lot of time with, you know, your loved ones as well. Okay. Thank you guys. I'll be back tomorrow playing Vampire Survivors uh, with a little twist. Um, here's the thing, see? Vampire Survivors is like a game that you can play, but I feel like, you know, you have to be... It's a good game to play while you're doing something. So I thought... I'm gonna try Sing. I'm gonna try Sing while playing the game. It's gonna be Vampire Survivors Karaoke. <laughs> I know Vampire Survivors has great music, but... Imagine the concentration that we, that we would like, you know. Yeah, that'd be great. Singing while surviving. That sounds fun. Yeah, and then we can sing just like any song that we want that can be archived. Easy, easy. <laughs> archived or unarchived? Archived, archived. We'll do it archived. We'll do some Japanese song. Yeah, multitasking. Or oh, we can sing Hollow Life songs. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do one or the other. Who knows? <gasps> but it'll be very, 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 very cool. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Okay, I'll guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Annyeong, Jane. Sabada. Ow! Ow! I hit my mic. Okay, bye.